If you like horror, you have to be watching this man's work. This guy is incredible. This is, of course, Mike Flanagan. I can think of no better time to highlight Mike Flanagan as right now, so I'm gonna rank the three series I've seen. I have not seen Bly Manor, unfortunately, so that will not be on the list, but I heard it's not that good. Is it good? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. In last place though, third place, I have Midnight, uh, The Midnight Club. The Midnight Club. This one's cool. This one's solid. It's not as much of a Mike Flanagan project since he only directed like two episodes, but he still is the creator of it. He still wrote a whole bunch of it. And, and this one's a very solid thriller series. I thought the characters in this one were really fun. The mystery is cool. Not quite as interesting as I think the next two series that we have but it's good enough to get you through the only thing that might knock you off with this one a little bit is it's more of a anthology show than it was advertised as or at least that was my impression going into it you have this whole cast and there is a story going through weaving it all together but then you have these detours of them telling stories spooky stories some of them are cool some of them not some cool there are like some weird funny ones too that also like i kind of liked actually but because of the inconsistency in some of those anthology stories the fact that it's the show with the least focus on the straight narrative through even though there's a huge focus on that it's it's the least important because of the anthology aspects compared to the other two series i'm gonna put it in third i still really like this one the next two honestly incredibly tough incredibly tough for me i cannot decide hear me out you might call me crazy I'm putting Hill House at number two. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm putting it at number two. The Haunting of Hill House is terrific. It is phenomenal. It is near perfect. The acting, the directing, the writing, the cinematography, the editing, the music. It is all so beautifully crafted into one of the best thriller horror experiences you can find on today's market. I would start naming the performances I enjoyed in this one, but there are simply too many to name. They're all so good. The themes and stories of this family going through this loss, going through this tragedy, but also uncovering this mystery around the mysterious Hill House. It is so captivating. It grabs you. There are some terrific scares, but what Mike Flanagan does so well is it gives you terrific characters, terrific character moments and arcs that are satisfying, and it just brings a brings a nice cozy like ah that's good stuff there are a few episodes in this that are directed in a mind-blowing fashion absolutely mind-blowing i love this series a ton it is like a solid 9 out of 10 for me maybe 10 out of 10 but i think the next one I, I think it's a personal thing i like it a little more that is of course midnight mass father pruitt being one of my favorite characters i've seen in anything in such a long time that performance absolutely bonkers just like hill house everything the acting directing writing music editing blah, 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 all that stuff absolutely insane me being someone who grew up in a religious setting i think i connect to this one a little more it has a lot of interesting things to say about religion but also the people that make up the church and that's really what the church is is the community and the people around it and how they react to this mystery going throughout the town as well as the misfits the people who are on the outside of the church and how they deal with it there are so many twists and turns in this one i didn't even know really what kind of story it was or what it was about when I started it, which made it an even better experience. There were so many twists in this one. I was always shocked. It's what Mike Flanagan does best, people. He gives you great scares, but also great characters. And this one has some terrific characters. I love this guy's work so much. I wanted to highlight him, talk about these shows because I think they're just absolutely insane. And it's kind of the importance of paying the writers and the actors because these are the projects that we need projects that are carefully crafted so we got to pay the damn people i need more shows like this pay the damn people thank you so much for watching i make a new video every single day subscribe i'm trying to hit a thousand i really appreciate it